Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to HOD, fellow Toastmasters. Any guests this evening? Put your hand up as a guest. Very nice. Thank you very much for joining us. I hope you have a very pleasant evening. My name is Peter Jacques, and I am the president for one more meeting after this. <laughs> as I often say when I stand up here as the uh, introducer, I want you to remember several things for those of you who are going to speak this evening who know about it, and those of you who are going to speak who don't know about it. That's the table topics session. More will be explained to you about that as we carry on. The three things I need to impress upon you, from my point of view, is that the first thing is you're here to enjoy yourselves. Don't forget that. This isn't a trial. This is fun. So I want you all to be there with smiles on your faces and get yourself into the mood, and that's why we're all here. The second thing is, for those of you who are going to speak, try and take a deep breath before you start. Get yourself together, through your nose, not your mouth. Calm yourself down. We're all a family here. We're here to help you through this, and we're on your side. There's no criticisms here. There's only recommendations and lots of commendations. So please bear that in mind. Thirdly, one other point. Should you find yourself in turmoil, after you've taken your deep breath, pause. There's absolutely nothing wrong in a speech with the right sort of dramatic pause. Vary your voice high and low to illustrate that which you are speaking about, and of course, eye contact is very important. You're not at the Wimbledon tennis match, but <laughs> eye contact would be really very good. We have a mission. Oh, one further thing. When anybody comes up here, the person who has the stage, and we have a Toastmaster of the evening, will always hand over that stage to you with a handshake. And when you leave the stage, the handshake is just as important to let everybody know you've handed the stage back. Please don't forget that. Now what are you going to do when someone comes up here? You're going to shout, cheer and clap. So show me how you do that, please. A big round of applause. <laughs> person I'm going to ask up here this evening to read the mission of a Toastmasters Club, which is very important and one of the reasons we're all here. So, if I pronounce this correctly, Jinto, please come up here and join me. To provide a mutually supportive and positive learning environment in which every individual member has the opportunity to develop oral communication and leadership skills, which in turn foster self-confidence and personal growth. I have great pleasure this evening in introducing someone who's going to be our Toastmaster of the evening, who's not done it before, already done a terrific amount of work and I want you to congratulate him with your applause, welcome him to the stage and give him your full backing. Please welcome your Toastmaster of the evening, Sina. Services also 
or by entrance. Very welcome to HOD Club. This is a distinguished club for us, where leaders are made. Now, according to our competent leadership practical guide, the leader is capable to look ahead, think ahead, and, and influence people to go ahead on plan. And all I can see here today are future leaders and public speakers. You will be capable to lead and influence people around you with your own unique message. Just like many other successful individuals, ambassadors, celebrities, authors, and governors who receive Toastmaster training. Among them, you may recognize names like Anthony Robbins or Napoleon Hill, the author of Think and Grow Rich. Now, communication is one of the most important skills that we need to possess. We've got to be master of it, because every word we say and every gesture we make is broadcasting our message. And this training helps us to manage our broadcasting station. Now, to achieve that point of excellence, that golden standard to be a competent public speaker and a leader, HOD prepared this particular training. A training which wasn't available on our education system. So this is a very special training. And that's why our evening session has been planned ever so carefully. And if you look carefully to your um, planning this evening, you will see the name of different masters. Now, these masters will help us in different aspects of our training. Meanwhile, they are practicing their leadership. Now, if you're wondering what do they do, or how do they help you, I'm glad to say they're all prepared to tell you all about it. But before I leave the stage to our first master, Master Timekeeper, I'd like to give you a tip to get the best out of this thinking. You see, HOD Club is a very friendly environment. We are here to learn, experience, and expand our boundaries. So, doing mistakes, being stressed, and performing unprofessional is okay. It's a part of a deal. It will happen. So relax, as our president said, take a deep breath, and get on with it in your own pace. At the end of the day, Rome wasn't built in a night. Perfection <laughs> is a progress. Please welcome Master Timekeeper, Mr. Sandy Shetty. <laughs> <laughs> 